This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist, with this week's market update. After eight straight up months, the market started September with muted gains at the end of a very choppy week, but still with the major indices hovering at or near all-time record highs. Market pundits point to an array of factors behind this week's choppiness. They include high historic valuations, the looming prospect that the Federal Reserve may start to taper their bond purchases, and unwind some of their fiscal stimulus. The spread of the Delta variant and the fear of a coronavirus-induced slowdown in the economy and the fear of rising inflation as producer inflation accelerated in August as wholesale prices rose 8.3% from a year ago. This is the biggest increase on record going back to 2010. Now, on top of all that, the investment strategists at the major investment banks are expressing concern over the tone of the market and are all of the opinion that a 10% correction is not only possible, but overdue. Now, the market's at new highs because the economic data continues to be positive, with big business booming as the most recent earnings season demonstrated. 90% of earnings reports for the S&P 500 beat on all lines, top and bottom. Margins are up, profits are up, and dividends are up. Business continues to grow, and demand for workers also continues to grow as available jobs hit a new high with 10.9 million jobs available. At the same time, New jobless claims fell this week and reached a fresh pandemic low. Of course, economic data, no matter how timely, only reflects what has already happened, not what is going to happen. The markets, fortunately, are forward-looking, and why investing for most is so counterintuitive, as markets continue to climb the proverbial wall of worry. So all the investor concerns I listed today are just that. They're concerns. They're not certainties. Each concern is just one of the many bricks in the wall of worry. So when in doubt, trust the market. Or in the words of legendary investor, Jesse Livermore, markets are never wrong, but opinions often are. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, I need a tailored strategy for my portfolio based on my unique goals and not on the guesswork or opinions of TV personalities and Wall Street strategists, all you have to do is text or call. My son, Ryan, and I have 75 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. All you have to do to get a second opinion is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC.